63 in Louisville. The 33rd was consolidated with the 26th Kentucky Infantry Regiment April the 1st of 1864, making up companies F, H, I, and K of that regiment. Crady had been made a corporal in D Company of the 33rd, before he was consolidated with the 26th, in which he served as the same rank in K Company. During Crady's time in the 33rd, that regiment was on duty at Munfordsville and on line of the Louisville and National Railroad, Lebanon Branch Railroad, until April of 1864. After Crady joined the 26th, that regiment was on duty at Bowling Green. It was mounted and engaged in post duty and scouting from Bowling Green to the Ohio River and from the western part of the state to Lexington until December of 1864. The regiment was in General Stephen Burbage's expedition into southwest Virginia from September through October, including the Battle of Saltville, Virginia, on October the 2nd. The regiment was at Bowling Green until December. Corporal Crady was on sick leave in LaRue County and was murdered by guerrillas November the 17th, 1864. Saul Thompson and Henry Magruder were tried and convicted of the murder of Crady at a military tribunal held in Louisville, both having pled guilty to the charge. Magruder was hanged October the 29th, 1865, and Thompson was pardoned and released. He died in Kansas in 1922. Corporal Crady was buried in what is known as the Castleman Cemetery. His marker has been placed with his cousin, Private Franklin Crady, Company D, 37th Kentucky Mounted Infantry. Private Crady was killed by an accident June the 16th of 1864. As we remember Corporal Crady, let us cherish his example as a patriot and defender of those principles he believed to be right. Let us forget his failings, for he was human, remembering only his virtues. Let us so live that when that time shall come, those we may leave behind may say above our graves, here lies the body of a true-hearted, brave, and earnest defender of the Republic. In behalf of the Sons of Union veterans of the Civil War, we give this tribute of evergreen, a symbol of undying love for the comrades of the war. Symbol of purity, we offer at this grave a rose. May future generations emulate the unselfish devotion of our heroes. sons of comrades in arms, we crown these remains with the symbol of victory. integrity and unity our late comrade Crady offered his services during the War of the Rebellion, we deposit this flag.
seemeth well that we should leave Comrade Crady to rest in honor, where over him will be in the arching sky. As I did in great love when he pitched his tent, or lay down, weary and foot sore, by the way, or on the battlefield for an hour's sleep. As he was then, so he is still, in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Let us also then remember those honored dead who did not return to far from home, but lie in resting places. Ready? Ready, aim, fire, reload, come to the shoulder. Ready, aim, fire. Order on. May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rest upon and abide with us forever. Amen. Our service of dedication is ended. In the name of the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, I thank you for your courtesy in permitting us, who are bound by special ties to them, to honor our dead. Taps are sounded, lights are out, the soldier sleeps. Keep hell.